Hi everyone, how you doing? I know it's been a while since I've really done any videos or <coughs> whoops, you know, did any updates on myself and you know, really let you guys know what's going on with me. <clears throat> As you can hear, I still have that cough and um <clears throat> that coughing and lung issue because I have um lung problems um now suffering from um lung problems unfortunately I am now on a daily medication unfortunately that I have to take daily so now <coughs> I have to be <coughs> taking some daily medications um, for my lungs. Um, so I have to now see a pulmonary specialist. Um, but we are now going to be making sure that um, you know, my lupus doesn't really affect it, um, as most lupus does attack your lungs. Um, so that kind of worries me because now with all these other, um, medical issues that I go through all the time, I have to now be aware of my lungs and making sure that my lupus doesn't um, attack my lungs or I have to be aware of my lungs. So now, um, like I was telling you guys in my past videos, that three to four hours before I go to bed, I do not drink anything. So I try to make sure I don't eat anything as well. And I've lost a lot of weight, which I'm so proud of. I'm so excited. And I'm trying to make sure I keep losing weight. I'm so excited. Um, but at the same time, it's like the weight keeps trying to come on. Because then I struggle with weight. But um, before I had um, went back home, because recently my grandmother had passed away, and which I've been posted, I posted on here. Um, I had lost a lot of weight um because I wasn't eating and I don't I don't know why um I had lost so many weight my doctors was trying to figure out why I had lost so much weight before I had went down I was losing a lot of weight I wasn't eating and the doctors couldn't figure out why I wasn't eating why I was losing so much severe weight before I went down no one could figure it out they thought maybe I was stressing out Maybe I was stressed, not because of my grandma had passed, but because of something else. Um, doctors couldn't figure out why I was losing so much weight. Um, but now I'm starting to eat again, but um, not as much. Still not as much, but I'm, I love it. So that's a good thing. Um, but also... Um, I just don't like the fact that I'm, you know, I'm just still having a lot of health issues. I guess that's what comes with having so much health problems and having so much autoimmune diseases and what comes along with it. I don't, um, I know it's probably not the animal causing all this. It's probably just my lupus. But, um, but anyway, today I went to the TMA symposium where they talked a lot about a lot of TMA, but they also talked a lot about NMO, which was exciting and I loved. And, um, I will be posting, um, the symposium cause I videoed it live. So I will be posting that. Um, some of it was cut because, um, they took breaks. So I will be posting that. Um, and also, um, there were, some of it was cut because my phone was running low as well. And 
So I hope the video help a lot of people with some information who has NMO and for people who has MOG. I hope it helps a lot of those people. Um, and also, um, the, the video also has breaks in it because they took break for, um, for breakdown for people who wanted to go in groups. So the videos are also for that too. Um, and my battery was low on my phone. Also, I also have good news. I know I've been posting it and I've been dropping hints. There was one time also I had put a title up um, where I said, no more lies. I've been dropping hints and I've also been posting, um, I hope you would open um, your heart and your hands to the big news that's coming. And, and I put up a title on my page, no more lives. Well, that title meant my organization, everyone. Yes, I'm so excited. Um, yes. Um, no more knives means it's the name of my nonprofit organization. It's a non-taxable nonprofit organization. It's not a foundation. So I, please, everyone, don't get it confused. It's not a foundation. It's a nonprofit organization where I put on um, fundraiser events um, to raise funds for foundations um, where I will put on events and any events that I put on, any money that's raised, um, I will donate it to foundations like maybe the Guthrie Jackson Foundation, Lupus Foundations, or even my wonderful doctor, Dr. Levy, for um, his for research that he might do, that he does, um, or um, or any other foundations for NMO or lupus or anything of the matter. Um, that's what my um, my nonprofit organization does. Um, it's not so it's not a foundation. Foundations are a lot of work, so I do not run a foundation. Um, so that is my big news. Um, I've been putting it in the works for a while now, and um, it's been building, and it has literally come into wishing. And oh, God, I said that word wrong. It has come to wishing now, and it's come to light and um i'm actually taking it on the road where i travel with it i'm, I'm traveling with my or my nonprofit organization that's why i never mentioned it because i wanted to make sure that um you i don't really want to um put any bad bone or put any bad word on anyone but you know sometime when um you would like people to wish you well or um not say um bad things or not really wish you well um you don't really talk about it but you like to just put yourself out there first and start slowly and gradually um put yourself out there so that's why i've been taking a little trips and putting myself out there so that's why you, you guys might have seen me take a trip to africa was because that was actually for my nonprofit organization i was actually slowly putting myself out there um that was one trip for my nonprofit organization actually um I was actually helping a um, an orphanage out there. Um, I was trying to let them know that I actually raised funds to help people, and I was helping an orphanage over there. And because that's exactly something you know that I'm going to do is um, you know help raise funds, and that was um, they have they help children in an orphanage over there that. Um, that are ill 
So they're not um, part of enema or lupus or anything like that, but they're just an, you know, another entity on the side that's different that I heard of and I wanted to help. So that was just something in the works that I was doing and just trying to help get myself out there. And I was, and I wanted to help. I heard that I needed help. And by me doing that, other people in South Africa or in Africa heard about me and other people in Africa wanted me to help them as well. So now I'm supposed to be traveling to other parts of Africa and help over there too. So I just, I'm so proud and happy for myself. And so now I might be traveling to other parts of Africa now. And I'm just so proud and happy for myself. Um, but my my goal is I want to really raise awareness and advocacy for NMO and lupus um, more. And, and that's my goal. So now I'm hoping that I can really spread and help you know, spread and help the word for advocacy and awareness and hopefully in the Caribbean because I'm hearing that it's really starting to spread in the Caribbean. So I'm really trying to do that. So I'm planning on making more trips in the Caribbean more and try to spread and help more awareness. And so I'm going to be advertising my nonprofit organization more and so everyone can know about my nonprofit organization. So stay tuned and look out for my organization you guys and i will be posting my my card on my page so everybody welcome no more lies that is the name and i just i'm so ha um happy and i really hope Spreading awareness for NMO and lupus. Um, and that's why I've been telling my story and, you know, always hoping that people would share my videos and like my videos because I, did, I do these to really help other people. And that's what I've always tried to tell people when I do these videos. It wasn't because I was doing it for the fame it was never for that it was always for people to hear my story and to know i do this because it's for a cause it's to help other people who are going through things because i try to always try to do the ups and downs because i haven't done any videos in a while because i've been going through issues i've been sick and i know i always said i was going to show the ups and the downs but i've had so many downs that's been so bad that I've been unable to hold my phone and I am trying to get those tripods and um, I'm trying to get more help to help me um, do more typings and more phone calls so I can be able to get more help to help me do more of this videoing and holding, doing this tripod stuff because it's not easy with me being legally blind and doing this it's not easy. So that's why I always try to tell people when you watch my videos, just share them and like them so it can get more words out. Because I don't mind my videos getting out there. Sorry. It's. Mm. Okay. Sorry. It um said a little back. Um, it said low battery, so I thought it stopped. Um, yeah, so that's why I always said, like, in my videos, just share and like my videos because that's why I do it, it's, it's really to help people. And I really do want to show the times when I'm feeling sick and I'm really feeling bad and I'm really in bed because there are days when. I don't really get out of bed like lately you notice my voice is hoarse because my lungs is not 100 percent like now i'm hoarse and i'm not a hoarse voice kind of person and i know i'm talking with a hoarse voice and that's not my voice and i know that's because of my lungs 
I know that's my lungs making me talk hoarse. And I don't, I'm, right now it's like, I've just been going through it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be posting my, you know, my nonprofit organization card. And, oh, and another thing I want to announce, everyone, is I am happy to announce also I'm having a walk sponsored by the TMA coming September 7th on the National Mall. And I'm telling everyone, come out. Um, the the Facebook registration has not been posted yet, but it's on September 7th. So everybody has enough time. The Facebook page registration has not come out yet. It's supposed to be coming out hopefully by next week. Um, it's sponsored by the TMA. Um, it's supposed to be September. The walk is supposed to be September 7th. I will be posting it when it come out and advertising when it comes out. When the Facebook page come out and the website is supposed to be coming out on the TMA website and the flyers and everything. When I do the flyers and get the flyers out, I will be doing the flyers after the Facebook page comes out. I will be making the flyers for the walk after the Facebook page come out. And it's going to be on the National Mall, the historic National Mall. Yes. And it will be, um, I know this video is long and I know people hate watching long videos, but I'm begging everybody. I hope you guys watch this whole entire video. Um, September 7th in the morning um, at the Constitution Garden. The walk is going to be around the reflection pool. Oh my God, it's beautiful. And when the flyer comes out, when the Facebook page, um, registration page comes out, I will post the picture of where it's going to be at. It is beautiful. And it's going to be on the National Mall September 7th. Please, everyone, come out, register. Um, I will let you guys know if there's going to be a fee for registration. If there is, it won't be that much. If there is, um, just I'm telling you, September 7th, just mark the date, September 7th. It's going to be a walk um, for autoimmune diseases, NMO. Come on out. Just mark the date for now. And, and I am back. You guys, I am back. I promise you I'm going to keep up with my videos again. And... And I'm going to be posting the symposium video that I did today at the NTMA um, symposium. Okay. Bye. Love you.